back guys, General Tony here, your host, and welcome back my friends to a brand new episode on the channel. This is video number two of the day, so hopefully you are enjoying the content we are putting out on a daily basis, guys. Back on our mini account, Captain Tony, I think it's been 48 hours since we've done a video on this account, guys, and the reason is because we didn't actually have any builders free, but right now we have a single builder free, guys. We've got another one coming in 16 hours and 47 minutes which i think we're going to be gemming in this episode guys now the first thing i want to do is i want to go into my treasury and i want to max out my storages well my golden my elixir anyway then what i want to do i want to go into the shop and i'm going to be buying all the special offers which supercell has just put into the store so we've got a book of fighting a book of building which we will be using in the episode and a resource potion then we've got a builder potion Eight and a half million gold, a book of fighting, a book of spells, and a book of heroes, which means we're going to have, including the loot in the treasury, about 20 million gold to spend here in the video, guys. 10 million elixir, and quite a lot of dark elixir. So, let's start this off by getting the fight club. Now, I'm not going to be giving away any gift cards in this episode, guys, but what I do want to remind every single one of my subscribers is... On the 1st of August, in just one week time, I will be giving away 10 gold passes as, as soon as the new season starts. I'm going to be doing a Q&A, a face cam, and of course giving the 10 gold passes away in that video. If you want the chance to win those gold passes, all you need to do is make sure you are subscribed to the channel, guys. That is it, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video to get some good luck, guys. But stay tuned, the 1st of August... Seven days, eight days, I don't know how many days it is. About a week though, we will be doing the 10 gold pass giveaway. And of course, I will be gemming the entire gold pass, the new August 2019 season, here on this account as well. So, check that out. 18 and a half million gold, guys. 10 million elixir. We are ready to rumble. So what we're going to do, what this episode is all about... It's all about what's hidden inside of my clan castle. What is the best troop to use when you're trying to farm up an account? When you're trying to max out an account, what is, in my opinion, the best troop to use inside of your CC? So I'm going to show you in a couple of moments time. Take your guesses down below, guys. What do you think I've got inside of my clan castle? Before we do that, I'm going to use some of my magic items. So we're going to scoot over to my book of building. And I'm going to go ahead and use that on the Inferno Tower, which is a 7-day, 11-hour upgrade, guys. So, let's click that Finish Now button. Upgrade our first max level Inferno Tower. That is awesome. So, we've maxed out one. This one is going to level two. And now we just need to max out this one to level six as well. We've already maxed out the Eagle Artillery, guys. So, in, in total, this base is starting to look, you know, pretty damn good. I mean, we're doing good. We're upgrading pretty damn quickly. So, two builders are now free. I could gem this Inferno Tower, but I don't really see the point. We might do it. First thing I want to do, though, is get rid of the gold. So, we've already maxed out all four Expos. One, two, three. Where's number four? Have we upgraded all four? Yep, yeah, there's number four right there, guys. I've got an idea. We're going to go ahead and drop... How much is it? 7.2 million Elixir. On an army camp. That means we've now done... I think we've done three. These two are upgrading. We've already maxed out that one. Which means we've only got one army camp left to max out, guys. And then we will have 280 housing spaces, which is awesome. It will be just like my main account, General Tony. Okay. I think once we max out our elixir storages again, we'll probably use a book of fighting to upgrade the balloons. And then do another troop upgrade. But for now... We don't have enough elixir to do that, so let's start to focus on the gold, guys. What is the most expensive gold upgrade in the base? Is it the Inferno Tower? That is going to be 8.8 .8 million. What about Wizard Towers? 8.9 million. Okay, this is interesting. What are we going to do? I think for now, I'm going to go ahead and drop 3.2 million gold on a single wall. That's going to take me down to 15.3 million. Then I'm going to scoot over here to the Inferno Tower, guys, and we're going to drop 8.8 .8 million on the Inferno, and we're going to keep 6.5 million for when the other Inferno Tower is finished tomorrow. But we're also going to go ahead and use a Builder Potion. Then we're going to come down here, 
and I'm gonna collect the rest of the elixir and the gold and add it to our storages guys so in total we've got one book of heroes five books of spells damn we need to use them two books of fighting and we've got a resource potion which we're gonna go ahead and drop right now as well guys so we're looking good we are looking good road to max second town hall 12 this will be our second maxed out base once we've maxed it out guys hopefully before Town Hall 13 is released. But what we're going to do now, we are going to continue to farm up this base. We're going to max out our storages again. And in order to do that, we're going to need to find out what is hidden inside of my, uh, my clan castle. Hold on. Let's see. Are we doing a challenge? Yes, we are. Okay. Let's find ourselves our first opponent, guys. Stay tuned. We'll be back once we find a big loot raid. Yo, so here we go, we've landed on what appears to be an extremely dead base. Check that out, triple inferno towers and all the expos are dead. I'm guessing the Eagle Artillery maybe has a couple of shots left inside of it, guys. And the heroes are also up, but there are some gravestones around the base. So, we're calling it now, easy triple star on this base, guys. And you'll find out what's hidden inside of my defending, sorry, my attacking clan castle in a couple of seconds. So let's start by raging up this Electro Dragon, guys. Coming in to take out this Grand Warden and wipe out these Archer Towers as well. Okay, as that is going on, I'm going to drop in this Super Queen Charge down the bottom, guys. Drop in the Baby Dragon to clear these buildings. And we'll head off down the right-hand side of the base. Dark Elixir Drill is going to go down. Electro Dragon is somehow still alive. Actually pretty much cleared. The entire right hand side of this base guys, that is amazing. We're gonna wait for the queen to come up here, then we'll drop in the entire army and you'll find out what is inside of my CC guys. My opinion, what is the best troop to use in an attacking clan castle when you're trying to farm up a base and uh, take on higher level opponents. So, we're ready to rumble. Here we go, dropping in that wall wreck here, sending in the Grand Warden. Bowler's gonna come in on the back burner, guys. Giant goblin. We're gonna drop it all in. Let's see what's inside. We've got that war wrecker heading towards the Giga Tesla. We're gonna protect it. Make sure it reaches it. Poison spell's gonna go down just ahead of the army. Eagle artillery has just run out of bullets, guys. And there goes the first free spell. Check this out. What is gonna be coming outside of my CC? There goes. The Grand Warden's ability, guys. Can you see anything? I can't see it, but something is getting torn up. There they are, guys. Max level Valkyries. They're quick, they're destructive, and they absolutely ruin bases once you drop them into the center. In my opinion, they are honestly the best troop to use if you are a lower level base, guys, and you've got a max level player in your clan who can donate you max level troops. Max level Valks. Tear bases apart, drop a heal spell, drop a rage spell, whichever one you choose to bring. But there is pretty much nothing better than those Valkyries. High hit points, they deal a massive amount of damage, guys. And in just seconds, they are able to absolutely terrorize bases. But there it is. Picking up a sweet amount of loot there. Well over 1.5 million loot in total, including the bonus. And did we get a star bonus? No, we don't. We already collected it earlier. Okay, so... By the way, guys, check this out. Look at these rewards. They are pretty good. We've got a million elixir in the first one, dark elixir in the second. Probably going to go for the gold in the third. Probably going to go for the builder potion, maybe. I don't know. Maybe elixir, maybe builder potion. Fifth one, we're going to go for the gold because I don't play the builder base. And then number six, obviously, we're going to go for the dark elixir, guys. 250,000 dark elixir for the final prize. Ends in five days, nine hours. I cannot wait to collect that. So, let's carry on. Let's get ourselves into a, uh, a second live attack. I'm going to go ahead and actually request another CC, guys. Let me just log on to my, uh, my main account, General Tony. And uh, let's donate me some more of these beautiful Valks. So, there it is. Okay, War Wrecker Valkyries and a Rage Spell. Let's head into our second live attack. We've still got a Hero Potion active. And we've got a Power Potion active, guys. So, we're pretty much able to crush bases over the next hour until all these potions end up running out. Okay, this will be a good test. Higher level heroes, the base is active. 
Can we get a triple star against this base? Can the Valkyries destroy the core? Let's find out. What am I going to do here? What do I want to do? Okay, I think I'm going to come in with a War Wrecker on the edge there. Which means I need to make a funnel with the Electro Dragon at the top. And with my beautiful Queen down the bottom. There go the healers. Baby Dragon on the wing again to ensure the Queen's funnel. This Electro Dragon, wow, check that out. Taking out an air defense there, guys. That was awesome. Has absolutely stripped the entire north of this base. We're looking good. Should I rage up the Electro Dragon? No, it's probably a waste of a rage spell. Okay, yep, it definitely was. The Queen is just about going to clutch that King. I'm going to jump the Queen in there. I'm also going to rage her up, guys. She's going to take out all these defenses. Double Cannon was the biggest threat. That one down the bottom is upgrading, so that's cool, guys. And we are looking good. Okay, so... We're going to probably wait to take out this Inferno Tower. Let's just wait another second. I want to make sure the War Wrecker goes into the center so the Valkyries can really do some damage in this base, guys. Might even use another Rage Spell on this Queen. Yep, we're going to need to. Here we go, level 55 Archer Queen. As long as she is under the uh, beautiful little, uh, what's it called? The Healer's Spells, we should be good. Expo is going to go down. I'm going to freeze again. And now we're going to send in our Pekkas. War Wrecker into the center. Follow up with the rest of the troops, guys. Let's just make sure that Pekka goes down and doesn't kill my poor queen. Only thing is now we don't have... Oh, no, we do. We have one more Rage Spell. Okay. Let's pop the queen's ability. Take out that... Taking out the... Uh... What's it called? The Inferno Tower, guys. And now this is where it's going to get juicy. Check this out. We just need to break through with the War Wrecker. Are we through? I think we're almost through. There we go. There goes the Grand Warden's ability. The War Wrecker still hasn't dropped out though. Valkyries haven't come out. Here we go. They're finally out. And now we're going to torment this base. So, check this out guys. Which way have the Valkyries gone? They've split up towards the north of the base. Let's use that minion to take out the cannon. Valkyries dropping these defenses. Unfortunately, we don't have any more rage spells. Maybe we wasted too many on the Queen, guys, but my oh my, these Valkyries are glorious. Absolutely wrecked the core of this base again, and it is pretty much game over as we've walked away with the majority of the loot, guys. So let's end the raid there, collect what we came for, and let's return home. So, 9 million gold again already. We just got ourselves back into the Titan League. I did drop trophies on purpose, but... um. Should we gem this Inferno Tower? Now, you know what? We're going to wait till tomorrow, guys. We're going to wait. I'm going to keep playing, though. I'm going to max out the storages. We need to probably cook up an army now, which gets Dark Elixir, because I want to I want to try and, you know, get the king to level 50. But for now, my friends, we're going to end this video here. Make sure you smash a like if you enjoyed it. Subtype. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for tomorrow's episodes.